no matter which sector your profession falls under, Excel always plays a major role, especially for management. All sectors deal with date and time in the databases, which can get very chaotic. Well, this is where Excel comes to the rescue. MS Excel has some fantastic functions to simplify tasks involving date and time. And this is exactly what this video is about. Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPart. In this video, I will be discussing 5 Excel functions for date and time operations. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we have the date function. Then we'll talk about the dated if function, the now function, second function and time function. And now we'll start with our first agenda that is the date function. The date function returns the serial number representing a specific date. And right here you can see the syntax that is you put date and then type in the year, month and day. Let's try to explain the attributes. The year argument's value might be 1 to 4 digits for month, a month of the year from 1 to 12 represented by a positive or negative integer that is January to December. Now for day, a number from 1 to 31 can be positive or negative and represents the day of the month. We'll move on to our next function that is dated if function. It determines how many days, months or years there are between two dates. Syntax you can see it's written as dated if you put the start date and the end date and the unit and now we will talk about the attributes so the start date is a date that serves as the first day or the beginning of a period the end date is a date that serves as the period's final or the end date now unit unit is the kind of information you desire to be returned now we'll move on to our next function that is the now function so when you need to show the current date and time on a worksheet or compute a number based on the current date and time and have that value updated every time you view the worksheet, the now function comes in very handy. The syntax is very simple. As you can see, you write now, the opening and the closing parenthesis. There are no arguments in the now function syntax. Now we'll move on to our next function, that is the second function. So using this function, a time value in seconds is returned. The second is specified as an integer with a value between 0 and 59. The syntax is very simple. You write second and give the serial number. Serial number is the time that includes the desired number of seconds. Times may be entered as text strings enclosed in quotation marks. Now we come to our last function that is the time function. It provides the current time's decimal value. The result is presented as a date if the cell format was general when the function was input. The syntax is R, minute and second. So, R is represented by a number between 0 and 32,767. For a minute, it is a number that ranges from, again, 0 to 32,767. And the same goes for second. The range is the same, that is from 0 to 32,767. And that's it for this video. I hope you got to understand a bit about the time and date operations in Excel. Just a quick info, guys. IntelliPad provides advanced Microsoft Excel training, mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below.